Good morning, Tabernacle. I've come before you this morning to briefly discuss the COVID-19, a novel virus that has been identified in the very recent past. Novel virus is a new virus, hence the term novel. This virus has acutely caused problems around the world. What are the symptoms of this illness? The pro most prominent symptom is that of fever, uh, a dry cough is oftentimes part of the present presenting signs. And body aches, generalized malaise become a part of most viral illnesses. The most severe symptom, however, is that of shortness of breath. So what does one do if they think they have the coronavirus? The very first thing you need to do is pretend for sure that you have the virus. Think about your loved ones. Think about your family and try your best to isolate yourself. Then call your doctor, have them prepared so that if you do need to go in, they will protect themselves and their staff. You go in with the mask on. If they tell you to isolate in place, you would pretend that you are not going to give anyone an infection. And in doing so, you would keep yourself at home for approximately 14 days, avoid using common utensils with your family, and as best you can, use one bathroom. That bathroom would then be disinfected and you would be in one care area, uh, and that would be done primarily with one person in the house. Then let's talk a little bit about uh, things that uh, should be done generally. By now, you, there's been enough on the news regarding the COVID virus that you know that spatial distancing is important. As you know, probably by now, six feet from the nearest person, you would like to make sure that you wash your hands frequently. It is also important that things that are gonna to be touched throughout the house, those things be disinfected frequently, perhaps two to three times per day. If one uses a disinfectant, be sure that there's at least 60% alcohol in the solution. Let's say you do test positive for the coronavirus. Self-isolation is probably the best thing that you can do. Self-isolation should be at least 14 days. There have been some studies that uh, have recently come to pass with people where people with mild infections may only need to be isolated for seven days and then they should not uh, enter other environments until 72 hours after the, the last recorded fever, that is after being off all medications to fight the fever. When we say quarantine, that is that we separate ourselves. Uh, quarantine is not something that is done currently. Uh, however, that may be coming down the pike. It is for sure though, that we are not to travel to states where there's a high density of coronaviruses. As you possibly know, we're speaking of California, New York, Florida, Washington State. So let us say that uh, uh, there's a family that has an individual that is sick in the family. If at all possible, we would, we would like to make sure that we designate a sick room and the visitors to that person be one if at all, just one person, one caregiver. And that caregiver will act as if they have the disease themselves and that they will be careful with all the things that they handle so that you do not spread it around the family. So you can see that this is a monumental uh, condition that the body has to fight off. Currently, we do not have disease uh, fighting medications that we can use for the coronavirus. So we hopefully we'll have a vaccine within the next 12 to 18 months. Until that time, the biggest and most important thing that we can all do is to pretend that we have the virus so that we do not spread it to one another. So in summary, the coronavirus is here with us. We treat it as if it is a deadly virus because in fact it is. On a Christian standpoint, we know that our faith is in Jesus Christ. Our faith is not in medicine, but this is one thing that we can do. We can as human beings do the very best to our ability to stay well with the precautions that I've provided for you. 
And I'd like, like to ask you to stay tuned for further updates and as things become more available, uh, as far as knowledge about the coronavirus, we will be bringing that to you. Thank you for your attention uh, and uh, God bless each and every one of you.